Right. Right. <laughs> Hi there. Hang on a sec. Right, I'm gonna bring everyone on. Um, right. I hope you do. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hopefully, Hello. hopefully the chat's less weird now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, I seem to have gotten a lot of weird spam comments just flooding suddenly. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep a keep on top of that. But uh, yeah, hello, welcome, welcome to a Salt War hype. Uh, we're gonna check out this Nintendo Direct figure jiggy. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't really able to watch any of E3 live up until this point because I've been working like every evening for the last like six days. I finally got a day off, and we're gonna watch this, which is probably gonna be the best one anyway. And it's not just me, we're going to be joined, uh, I am joined here with... Hello, Murray Curry here. Uh, Charles Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> or you I'm have no dicks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Hung Hunter's here as well, so hello. All right. <laughs> God, we haven't done this in a while, have we? Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Funny. <laughs> We're, we're done. We're, we're old and retired. We walked out for like just one event and we're just like rusty. Yeah, so we basically got, because uh, I know uh, Elk is on his way as well. He said he's, he's going to join any second now. Um, we basically got the whole Lucky Hit gang here, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if this ends up being particularly hype or particularly salt i'll probably end up uploading this on lucky hit because we haven't used it for a while <laughs> uh if you if you notice i keep looking down it's because i basically got a second screen down here i have my new tablet that i purchased my xp pen i think it's called xp Ooh. pen 15.6 pro i think it's called your screen looks much better than mine. Right? <laughs> Uh, it's like... amazing. The color quality on it is better than my laptop's monitor. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, I almost use this more than the laptop screen now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, how long have we got for this? Uh, we got this at start? least number 24 we... minutes. Oh, okay. So I was thinking, because we haven't been able to cover any E3 stuff uh, this year, um, I thought I'd just go through a couple of trailers on the stream of like some of my favourite stuff that's been shown so far. And if anyone else wants to talk about some of their highlights as well, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just well, just to kill some time. Uh, I guess for me, the first thing that really stood out, which I'm sure you'll all agree with, is a certain uh, revival of an old franchise, an old Neo Geo franchise. Let me just find the uh, the link. It's very, very loud. You know what? I'm just going to search it because this is oh, these playlists are very long. <laughs> right, <hang> on. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> this is. I haven't streamed for ages. All right, <laughs> it's fine. Right, okay, I found it. Right, so I'm just going to put that on, and this will be a good way to test uh, sound levels as well because, like, I don't know how loud this is going to come out. But yeah. Uh, first thing that they showed off at the Summer Game Fest that really stood out for me. <laughs> DD Planet is the best E3 announcement. Yes! You are absolutely right, PC Wizard. It is. Um, basically, if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, PC Wizard in the chat here got his hands on a final beta copy of a cancelled Dreamcast game called DD Planet. Uh, you should go have a look on his channel and check that out because it's been released as well. It's been preserved good and it's amazing cool little multiplayer game right so let's try this out right so this i think this is definitely one of the highlights for me personally is little sub tic tacs wow it's quite loud in my uh, ears <laughs> Just, uh... yeah that trailer is very this trailer's loud. amazing this trailer's so good all oh, right very loud <laughs> oh is it uh, let me no i'm just in general turn something Oh, wait, wait, wait. It also looks amazing. <laughs> I love a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be, we'll, be talk we'll be talking about limited run games stream. Uh, <laughs> Cherry Tea, it was quite special. Very, very special. Oh, look at it. Oh, yeah, the, sprite, uh, the sprite work is actually really bloody nice. Like, obviously, trying to make a game that looks as good as the original Metal Slug games is 
probably nigh on impossible. <laughs> <laughs> So those games are a literal work of art, but they've done a pretty damn good job. Yeah, especially making it isometrical as well. Just like, yeah, I, re I really like the, the the sprite style they've gone with. Yeah, it's got, and it wouldn't be a dot emu uh, trailer without some rad animation. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a very uh, into the breach sort of feel to me. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm really loving this. Yeah. Under development and may change, blah 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 blah. And bottom there. Yeah, second day one purchase. From uh, I heard about that Nintendo thing, about uh, the co streaming thing. I think it was it only really applies to Japan unless they literally just tweeted that themselves. <laughs> but if that's the case, then we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Shout out, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell us what to do. Oh, you probably noticed I'm wearing a funny glove because this is the glove that goes with the pen, so I don't basically make the screen go. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you don't have the oh, there's the other one I want to watch. Uh, yeah, so this is an update. I'm I'm not a tactics person. I'm not a tic tacs person, but um, <laughs> but uh, I absolutely love that trailer, and I'm willing to give that a shot because it's it's goddamn metal slug <laughs> like. I'm just really impressed by that whole thing. It looks incredible. Uh, Dot EMU have just been firing on all cylinders in the last few years with Streets of Rage 4 and the Wonder Boy remake. Windjammers uh, 2. Not, you know, Dragon's Trap. Windjammers 2 is on the way. Uh, and that Ninja Turtles game that they announced earlier in the year as well, uh, Shredder's Revenge. Oh, that yes. looks incredible. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, so you could just give me... Oh, Twitch tweeted it as well, so I think it's everywhere. I'm not sure uh -oh. what they can do though. Do they have the ability to just end the stream? Didn't they just? I guess we'll find out. They just ask you not <laughs> I guess to. We'll find out as opposed to uh, demanding. It's like, oh please, yeah. <laughs> please don't. It's like it probably is the case that oh, if it's that. full screen, then yeah, that's that's pretty much ah right okay. Yeah. But if it's uh, in the corner, I'll, might have to have a little. Oh, I'm gonna have a little tinker. Maybe I'll have to put the stream in the top corner and just have my face on most of the screen, if that's the well, case. Yeah. Uh, uh, I th oh, um, I forgot to say hello to the people in the chat as well. Hello, Cherry T. Hello, uh, Chris Media Lab. Hey. And obviously, PZ Wizard and all that. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the stream. Hey. It's always good to, good to see you all. Uh, so, another highlight, and I... To be honest, the most hype things about E3 this year for me were bo have both been things that were leaked. <laughs> like, days before they were announced, or just a day before they were announced. And one of them was actually leaked by Nintendo themselves. <laughs> Which I think is quite funny, because like, usually Ubisoft leaks their own stuff. Like Their stuff just gets leaked all the time, including the first installment in this game mm -hmm. that we're about to have a look at. So... Yeah, um, there's another Mario and Rabbids coming out, and it's called Sparks of Hope, and it looks fantastic, just like the first mm -hmm. one. Uh, let me just get this over to that. It's the closest we're going to get to Super Mario Galaxy 3. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like that it's very Mario Galaxy themed. It's got the Loomers, or rather it's got Rabbid, Rabbid Loomers. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers if you haven't seen it already, but... <laughs> Yeah, very strange. But yeah, this actually got listed on Nintendo's website in the morning before the Ubisoft stream, so kind of got shown off a bit early. Some screenshots and like the uh, the main artwork. But the first game was absolutely like brilliant. Mm -hmm. Like I, on paper, it sounded like stupid. It sounded stupid on paper. It's like Mario with guns, and there's a peach rabbit that takes selfies. It sounded like the stupidest game, but then you play it, and it's incredible. <laughs> like such a one of the best, like pleasant surprises in the last few years of gaming, honestly. Yeah. And so I'm really happy that they've been allowed to make another one, and I suspect they're going to have a much bigger budget on this one as well. Yeah. I mean, you can already kind of tell the production values are considerably better. This time, yeah, I don't think I'd give the first one another play before this one comes out. I, I, I have a prediction. I have a prediction for this villain, <laughs> which I'm sure I'm not the only one that's probably said mm. this, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> you can probably guess. <laughs> it look, but I'll, I'll let the. I'll, I'll let it look. looks like Nintendo and Ubisoft went the polar opposite direction. Put it upside down and in black and white. <laughs> yeah, it was static. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> 
Yep, it's not going to be. Alright, well, after. Oh my god, this is the best. Yeah. I'm actually <laughs> looking at the Nintendo stream on my other screen, and we're down to the last 15 minutes. So yep. 15 minutes right, now. okay. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love this rapid Rosalina, it's just brilliant. I, I'm scared of it. <laughs> I just love how nonplussed and tired I mean, she is. I, I'm, it's just been me for the last month. I'm not obsessed with Rosalina, but seeing the rabbit version has sort of put me off for life. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that's how a lot of people felt, felt about Rabbit Peach as yeah. well. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, you've you've ruined Peach for me now. <laughs> He's not Thanks. pretty. I like these uh, shy guy uh, rabbits. I think they're shy guys. Uh, I think I think yeah, they're shy guys. There's uh, two trailers for this, I think. There's this cinematic one and then there's an actual gameplay one. The gameplay looks like it's actually been changed quite a bit. Um, right, so notice that there's a star yeah. on this main villain whose name is Cursula or something like that. But um, notice how, you know, like the main Mario characters are there, but not Rosalina. I think the villain is some kind of cursed Rosalina. That's yeah. my... That's that's my game theory. I, just, <laughs> I guess. I just noticed that one of the it, it feels a little bit predictable, maybe. The, the Lumas, the Lumins, Lumas. They, mm -hmm. he, he looks like it was a ghost. So it's like like a Luigi's Mansion reference, like Luigi's Mansion one. Uh, funny you should say that. There is a level that they show in the gameplay trailer that looks like kind of Luigi's Mansion inspired. So I guess it's not too far off. It's like they're taking the every little bit of Mario and just like. Making it Ubisoftified. I don't hate yeah. it. Is this... No, no. Yeah. Um, if, it's any... if it's anything like the first game, right, I'll put the uh, gameplay up real quick. So uh... I have to keep uh, pressing a button to switch where my mouse is. That's it. Yeah. So when these screenshots come out, there was a lot of people going, "Oh, this looks way too good to be a Switch game. It's probably a Switch Pro game." And it's like, did you play the first one? The first game had equally good graphics. It's just a good-looking Switch game. Yeah. They do exist. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> did yeah. you not play uh, especially Mario like... Galaxy or something? Because uh, <laughs> Mario Galaxy, uh, Mario, oh, the sea. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Galaxy or. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, I like. I got that for Cherry Tea uh, a while back, and um, wow, <laughs> like Luigi's Mansion 3 looks bloody incredible. If you ever get a chance to play it, if you haven't already, mm -hmm. it's easily the best looking Switch game. It looks as good as most PS4 games, honestly. Like the lighting, and it's just stunning. Like the anime. The, this character, I'm a bit concerned about. <laughs> I, I'm wor I'm worried to I'm worried to um, browse new grounds <laughs> now. <laughs> Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, you should be worried about browsing new grounds just in general, just as a general rule. Like, yeah, I mean, they do have age ratings on there that you can turn on and off, so that's something, I guess. <laughs> if people bother to use them for their artwork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I... So, I guess we've only got a short while now, so maybe we should just uh, maybe just chat about what our highlights are. Mm -hmm. that note, we we so do far? have an elk in the chat now. Yep. Oh, hello. I was um, waiting we have... for you to notice one. that I joined. <laughs> I mean, you could have said hello, <laughs> unless you did. Uh, you are quite quiet, so maybe it's that. Yeah, let's check. Oh, hang on. Let me just okay. check you up a bit. I've got your volume up. Yeah. There we go. Right, we should be all good now. I think I've got everyone on equal levels. I didn't. I just didn't yep. want to interrupt your conversation, is all. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, cheers for that. <laughs> yeah, so we've got about 12 minutes to go, so they, they've got the little timer thingy up now, so I guess um, I guess for me, one, even though they're not my kind of games, I, I'd say probably the biggest highlight of E3 would be the fact that there's two massive games that we thought were like a million years away that have actually got release dates for next year, and that's both uh, Elden Ring and Starfield. Mm. Like, they're two games I didn't expect to hear about for ages. Like, they were, like, miles away. Like, I thought they were going to be, like, 
years away, but no, they're both coming out next year. Well, they have been banging on about Starfield for a very long time now. Yeah. They have been very quiet about it, though, as well. They really haven't yeah, told us much. Like, but I, I know that was only a teaser trailer. The fact that it actually got a, a solid release date, or hopefully solid release date. Yes, it's, just, it's like every E3 they say, really oh, by the way, it is coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that, that Elden Ring trailer was kind of incredible really as well. Was. Like, I'm, like, I'm not really a Dark Souls person, mm -hmm. like guy, but even even I was like, wow at that it was it just looked so fun yeah i, I will be keeping an eye on that one <laughs> i didn't even know that elden ring or starfield were announced a long time ago mm. um, no yeah oh i guess another highlight for me was that um that Sugaden looking game that was apparently kickstarted about a year ago are you, that was are you the first time i saw it on the exit yeah are you din chronicles yeah. Wow, that looks oh, so good! Yeah. I like, forgot that was a Kickstarter that's... from some Suikoden developers. I mm -hmm. forgot all about mm. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I must admit, when I saw it on the Xbox stream, that's the first time I'd heard of it. And oh my god, it looks like. Do you remember all those kind of RPGs like Grandia on the PS One? It's like what you expect those kinds of games to look like in the future. Yeah, know? right. It's got that yeah. kind of fidelity kind of to it. It's like that. That kind of awesome visual style. On 3D. That kind of visual style excites me because I I like the idea of since I do want to work in video games, I'd like to make mm. a game that looks like that. And I remember feeling the same. Yeah, definitely. I remember feeling the same way about uh, Rayman Origins. Mm -hmm. When I found out mm. about the uh, engine that Ubisoft made to make the game look the way it does, and then when I saw other yeah, it's games, a shame they don't use that more often. <laughs> yeah, they only used it with I like they use that more. I guess five other Maybe games. Four games. They only used yeah. it for five other games, counting two Rayman mobile exclusive games. Mm. I don't know why they don't. Oh, use that's it true. More yeah, often. the Child of Child of Light, um, Valiant Hearts as Valiant well. Hearts. So I haven't played that, but I heard good things. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I need to get on with that mm. one. Um, Mario Kart Nine will feature a hundred and twenty-eight yeah. Mario races. <laughs> Good happen. Battle yeah. Royale Mario Kart. I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. One of you streaming a reaction to this direct? Well, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so there's yeah, it's, it's up on Twitch at the moment. Then. Yeah, we. Um, oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, we have been warned that. Okay. You know, Nintendo are. I should look into that actually. They got yes. their eyes on layout. the streams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me have a look because my layout is basically it's full screen, so I might have to tweak that. Hey, Nintendo's ninjas, uh, they're gonna get your ass. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna get me banned from Twitch. Have you got like a snow filter <laughs> or something that makes the stream go a bit oh, okay. fuzzy? If they say Mario Kart is coming to Steam, I'm just gonna witness there and get. Uh, get you just can't have the sound mm. on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's really? awkward. How am I gonna do that? Oh, <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna have to watch it muted because um, I've got the Discord and the uh, um, live stream feed coming through the same audio source. So yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> There's not much I could do about that. <laughs> Wait, you, um, you can't. You can't hear us. I think I'm just gonna have. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to risk it for a biscuit. I'd, I'd to be say honest. just keep the sound low. Well, we'll do all the talking yeah, over. Yeah, so I'll I keep can't... it low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to think mm. if it's worth messing with this, or well, I'll just leave it as it is and I... worry about it later. I guess Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo's direct, obviously pending, and there's Bandai and Namco, I guess, as well. But. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think I've Only. probably had the most to say out of this, probably the most to say actually a limited run, which is really kind of weird to say. <laughs> yes, I forgot. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna talk about that. Yeah, it was, be right back, I watched sorry. that last night when I got home. That's right. No um, yeah, limited run games had an incredible stream, not just because of what games they uh, showed off, but also just the presentation. They got Mega64 to do it. And, uh, you know, all the guys from Mega64 actually cameoed. And yeah, that was that was fantastic. Oh, was that actually, who they just were? Un unlike the yeah, unlike um, unlike the Volvo's streams, it was legitimately funny. <laughs> yeah, there were parts of it that did have me laugh. Did it cameo? Yeah, just but I love that they 
Uh, you know, all the guys from uh, Mega 64. Oh, man, I missed that. Oh. And it really had their um, editing style all over it as well. <laughs> yeah, you could really tell. What, you could tell they probably wrote the script for oh, that. I'm going to have to go back uh, and watch that. I'm guessing. It was I'll definitely do. Well. River City Girls 2! Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm, really, I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> they only showed a logo for that, but I'm really happy that they're doing a sequel. Um, I love the first game. Probably, maybe hot take but i think i actually enjoyed it more than streets of rage 4. <laughs> like, i really really enjoyed that game i guess i've um, never actually played river city girls yet i'm sure i have to you should definitely point. get on that Very oh wow good. the chat's in a funny spot i should probably move that i i do I'll think move it over here i suppose i, I am yeah, happy yeah. for everyone who loved river i've city got a lot of stuff now. over the top now i'm i know that game just i i i don't even have to play that game to know it deserves all the praise it got and i'm Looking forward to seeing what they do with the sequel. Mm -hmm. but I'm I'm all... just, it looks like it's going to be a completely different protagonist this time because it's. I think it's two of the ladies that are in the shops of the first game. Is that who it's they like were? One of them, the I one think. Of, the one of yeah, them, right? I'm pretty sure both of them were from the shop uh, mm -hmm. in some of the shops. Oh, I thought so. Yeah. Because the, the girl on the right, the, the black girl in the hoodie, she kind of reminded me mm. of a girl from another, uh, from another Western made River City game that probably haven't heard of called river city underground oh yeah 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 i played that oh yeah 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 oh yeah, yeah. I, I know one of that game but i haven't played it yet because i one of the I uh, well I could, I could get it on steam i suppose one of the but... protagonists of that game was a woman who did capoeira well break dancing ah, martial arts it could so be. it, it kind of reminded me be. of her but maybe it is someone from river city girls i don't remember every character from that game there was a lot of them I'm just glad we live in a world where the Cuneo games are basically all retroactively translated, barring like three of the main ones. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. They're actually re-releasing that SNES game that inspired River City Girls, aren't they? As River City Girls Zero, I think they're calling yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually realized that game. I presume they're localizing that as well. I realized that game was already re-released recently in exclusively in Japan. Um, oh, I didn't I think know that. It was oh, I think it was okay. Columbus Circle who. Um, <laughs> Ah, reprinted cartridges sense. of that and a few other oh, Kumio awesome. Kun games. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Uh, highlight of E3, plumbers don't wear ties. There you go. Done. I kind of want, <laughs> I I kinda want to try that game, but at the same time... I do not. It, <laughs> there used to be there used to be a YouTube annotations version of that game mm -hmm. where you could just click on the buttons and it actually played better than the original <laughs> video version oh, really? because you could literally just click on the buttons and you didn't have to wait for the cat the person to say each line before you press up and down. Oh man, yeah, I wish I knew about that. Re-release. Who actually wants to pay money for that game? Let's be. <laughs> Like it, it's not even an FMV game. It's a slideshow game. There's like, talk about. there's one bit of video at the start of the game, and then the rest of the game is just photos. <laughs> I was like voice acting over the top. I was gonna say I've gotten more interested in some of the digital pictures FMV games, like Night Trap and Ground Zero Texas. Oh yeah, yeah. And see, those games release. sort of make sense to re-release because they they are FMV games. They have some form of gameplay, but this game is barely a game at all. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's, this game it's kind of hilarious. I love that they're doing yeah, but... this. I love that they're doing it, but I obviously wouldn't actually pay money to play it. <laughs> like, I, and that's my con. I, I played yeah. it on you. I played it on YouTube when annotations were a thing. That was enough for me. <laughs> With the um, the anniversary edition digital pictures games, not only did they make those games easier, they included a lot of bonus features, which was just mm. why I got so interested in them because those games tell interesting stories behind their development. And I think there's a very yeah. Interesting sometimes story. the making of is more interesting. Yeah, and I think there's an interesting story in plumbers don't wear ties as well, even if it's just what the <laughs> hell the people involved were two minutes when they made it. But I don't know if they're going to include that here. Even if they hmm. do, though, I'm not uh, sure I can just so, hide to myself paying extra for if, a physical if, release. Maybe if they're going to re-release plumbers don't wear ties, can we have town with no name next? Yeah. Can we have a HD, HD remaster of Town with No Name? Yeah. <laughs> I would actually buy that. I would I... legitimately buy that. We need we need high definition pebble people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, outside of my high definition pe wow, pebble people really <laughs> that I did in that video. That bar uh, scene is still uh, doing the rounds on memes at the moment. 
blue, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Well, I'm gonna turn this right down. Ah, I, I tend to have to make them pretty quiet anyway, so you'll, you'll mostly be hearing us. So if you're watching this live with us, I'm sorry you're not gonna hear it as well as you would if you just watched it elsewhere. But I don't really <laughs> Hotel Mario HD. Yeah, go on. I don't really have any predictions <laughs> would... for this. I know it's a bit short notice, but I don't really have any predictions. Oh, outside yeah. of the obvious we haven't even, rumors, we haven't even done that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Please. <laughs> Yeah, get on with it. At least a teaser. You know, we've gone four years and we've literally... Was it four years? And we've literally yeah. seen the number yeah. four. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, no, no, yeah, Sonic fans are always complaining about not getting right. stuff, but Metroid fans have literally had a number. No, they've been told <laughs> that years, everything's been restarted. started. So that's <laughs> yeah, that, what, yeah, yeah, we, we're with, starting um, from scratch. See you in ten years <laughs> or whatever. This thing was... <laughs> Bubsy 3D free, remastered. We don't even know what's going on with the development of that game. We don't even know if they had to start yeah. over. And Another game from Sega got leaked earlier today or last night. I think it was last night. And that might show up here. I'm not going to mention it though, just in case it does show up. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty damn hyped for that one if it does show up I, here. Either way, I'm hyped for I'd it. I'd love to see. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. 18. Ooh. This is out of 14. I'm not even there yet. No, I'm not actually. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Usually I'm the one that's behind. Yeah, I've got this pretty quiet, so hopefully that's all right. Have and my webcam is pretty big on the screen, so. The video's we'll not see. starting yes. yet for me either. Okay, starting now. Oh, that's me. odd. Alright, cool. You can see the subtitles, that's good. Yeah, I've got this really quiet. <laughs> Might even turn it, it looks up. like just a little bit more just because it's too quiet. I think it's more a case of they just didn't want people co streaming it live yeah. more though, so then uh, the So what I could have done is just recorded disclaimer. this, I guess. There's the COVID 19 disclaimer. Yeah, everything got pushed back a year. It's pretty evident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> With a lot of things that you, you just have to expect that from the last year. Right, let's see what we get. Dr. Eggman in Smash, go on. <laughs> hey, I'll have that. I'll take I, I would, I would yeah. take that. <laughs> He's my favourite character in the, in the series. <laughs> you looked like Animated AF was co-host. Yeah, I'm here to show you some Nintendo games directly. <laughs> All right. Whatever the new character is. You take a look at this video, and it's just a tub of mayo for 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Oh dear. Right, I'll try, not, I'll try not to shout out what it is, yeah. just in case you guys are booked, because you guys might be behind. I'm already holding back because I know I'm miles ahead. Oh. And what I've seen so oh. far... Oh, oh, dear. oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, this is a start. Okay, I've seen something I beginning. think I see where this might... <laughs> Please, um, tell me this is a Tekken crossover. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, it's here. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it went way ahead of me. Alright. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. How did I not see this cons this idea coming? Yeah. That I oh, yep. Okay. I, I'm fine. I, I am fine with here. this. As soon as I noticed who was being, I'm here for uh, <laughs> the whole getting chucked off a cliff into a volcano. I I yeah, knew it, it was either Hihachi or Kazuma. But oh, that's oh, yeah. All okay. right. Wow. I I'm all for this. This is this is a good start. <laughs> he's just he's just ch he's just chucking everyone <laughs> off into a volcano. That's brilliant. Uh, wow. Okay. I didn't see oh. that <laughs> <laughs> this trailer is amazing. Uh, now I need my virtual fighter. Screw you, fighter, anime though. sword fighters. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I love Smash trailers. So, is this the last character? Is this the very last character? No, no, there's one more. Or is there one? Oh, there's one more. Okay. Uh, possibly. I, I... <laughs> this is probably two for one. I'm, I'm going to, second. more than anything, I'm just going to miss Smash Brothers trailers because mm. the trailers are always just so events, hilarious and brilliantly edited and just, they always know how to do some crazy stuff. That was tight. Yeah, I'm fine with this. This I'm not even a massive Tekken fan, but it makes perfect it, sense. It, we've it, now got a King of Fighters guy, we've got a Street Fighter guy, and we've got a Tekken yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, oh, Kirby, no! Oh, it, no, no, no. 
Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that looks so sad. He's gonna come floating back oh, up. I need to and see he's the be Kirby. A hat. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the Kirby hat's gonna be cool. He's gonna have a little scar. <laughs> oh, I've just got to the Kirby. Oh. He's gonna be covered in scars. <laughs> Oh, I see what you mean about the uh, co-hosting now. My face was over the top that of That guy really of likes throwing people off cliffs, doesn't he? Oh, thanks for the clip, by the way, Chris Media. That's cool. Cheers for that. <laughs> well, oh, okay, they're going to show off a little bit of gameplay as well. That's a pretty good start. That might be my favourite Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. Out of the new lot, that might be my favourite reveal so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd probably be inclined to agree, actually. I mean, I know a lot of people are super hyped about Banjo Kazooie, or were, and I get yeah. it. But for me, this is more interesting, I guess. Terry was, Terry was super good, hyped actually, for me as well. Yeah. That, Neo, that Neo Geo trailer was so goddamn good, with all the sprites like chasing that was, after the world. That was something else. Such production values that. into these, it's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to miss when this stuff isn't just a constant thing. I feel like they should just announce a season three and just keep this going <laughs> just, <yeah>. forever. <laughs> but poor, you know, poor Sakurai. But <laughs> maybe you just get someone else to take the, <laughs> take the reins, you know, if he, you know, let him retire. <laughs> God damn, he's been working. He's been working on Smash Brothers for like 400 years. <laughs> so. He just wants to make Kid Icarus. <laughs> Yeah, just let just let him do that again, I guess. Like port that over to the even if it's just a port of the 3DS one without the horrible controls. <laughs> Please tell me his final smash is dropping him off oh, the cliff. Okay, twenty eight. <laughs> oh, it's got to be. <laughs> yeah. It's going. I think it was that demon. Oh well. yeah. Uh, ability they showed off. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm... Hey, look, we finally got a uh, Tekken Cross uh, Street Fighter. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and Namco finally got to make their Street Fighter Cross Tekken game themselves that they promised and never released. Oh, what's this? What is this? Ooh, nice 2D art. Is that 2D? Or... Oh! Just very stylized. Oh, okay. You guys are ahead of me still. <laughs> That's a nice look. Yeah, uh, like it's strange. With, um, yeah, but it's 2D? Or is this just a trailer? Like, because I, I know of. Are they just bringing the whole series over? Because that makes sense. Yeah. I've always wanted to give these games a fair yeah. pun. I was watching um, Squares. Um, oh yeah, they're bringing both over. That makes sense. Yeah, um, I was watching them talking about uh, True Colors. It actually looks really interesting. I've seen the first game played through and I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious how well this is going to work on the oh, Switch. But, you know, yeah. new Switch. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think it's like a super intensive visual game. Mm. But, like, yeah. I don't know. And it's it's mostly like story driven, so I guess it running a little choppier wouldn't really be a big concern. There's not a lot of open areas, yeah. to be fair, at least in the first game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this makes sense. I'm I'm surprised they hadn't arrived sooner, honestly. True. There's something for everyone. You are Star Lord, leading the uh, band of heroes. I guess they're bringing that over. We don't have to suffer another three hours of this yeah, like on the Square Enix stream, do we? <laughs> it just went on forever. The game looks fine, I guess. It's not my kind of thing, nah. but it was just going on. They just showed way Ooh, too much of it. It does it say like at the top of the screen. 90% of the Square Enix. It does say at the top of the screen. It's going to be streaming. It's going to be one of those streaming games where you don't actually own it. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, that's concerning. Hey, Worms. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is like the real-time worms. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I think he was talking about gardens. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, not uh, not worms. <laughs> oh, here we go. How can you, how can you hate worms? Oh, no, this looks cool. <laughs> yeah, this game came out on Steam and consoles a little while ago. Woo, that frame rate. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, that looked pretty crunchy just then. <laughs> I, I'm starting to get a sneaking suspicion we're not going to be getting a Switch Pro here. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the place, the time and the place for it if it does Almost exist. Almost vanilla-ware-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. 
Austria ascending. Vinaware on a slighter budget, I suppose. Vinaware was slightly less dubious character designs. Yeah. Oh, two-point campus. Dare I say it's tame compared to Vinaware? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That goes without saying. This looks neat. It's like a follow-up to two-point hospital. Oh, yeah. It's like a high school one. I thought this was a cool idea. Yeah, me too. I like how everyone just looks like Wallace and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just like, everyone looks like Wallace. Yeah, I, I still need to play ca um, hospital. Hey, here we go, here we go. Woo, it's here. What, what? Yes. What? Oh. Yes. Right, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. We'll see. 23rd of <laughs> oh, if, if this is what I think it is based on the screenshots, I am... Um, this is like a highlight of E3 for me. Ah, I love that it's a this is straight up reference there. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. 20th anniversary. Bloody hell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're the games. These are... Oh, what, Super what? Monkey Ball 2 is you. actually in my top 10 all-time favourite so games. Like I think this is just a chronological thing. Oh, nice. Ooh, even six. acknowledge the DS one. Yeah. Um, I'm here for that because I missed this train. I never played Monkey Ball apart from DS 3D one. was terrible. The 3DS one was really bad. So, on, come on. It's a remake of 1 and 2, isn't it? Yes! It is a remake of 1 and 2, aka two of the best games ever bloody made. I'm here for that. Like, my GameCube was exclusively used for Monkey Ball and F-Zero <laughs> for like and Smash Brothers for like most of the time I used it. Oh, the next one's good. Literally put <laughs> so many hours into Monkey Ball 2. Man. What's next? What's Can't next? wait for that. Definitely... Oh. Mario Party Superstars. Is this a sequel? It, or an expansion? It's a compilation. Oh. Uh, of like old mini games. Or... The... Whoa, there's graphics. Oh, in like... oh. <laughs> oh my god, that, that looks delicious. I want to eat that. <laughs> oh, <they're laughs> like, I want to eat that cake. Games. Oh my god, that food looks so goddamn good! It's like Pikmin <laughs> 4 or 3 all over again. Is it Pikmin 3? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, these are all mini games from the older okay. games, aren't they? Yeah, they must yeah. be. Like, Get ready to ruin your thumbs again. Uh, okay, they kind of did this on the 3DS, didn't they? They did that uh, Mario Party Top 100, yep. I think it was called. Yep, got that. I'd love it. I think this is basically the same I'd thing. Love it if it was GameCube controller compatible. Just give, just give Mar <laughs> Mario Party fans what they actually want is the old stuff. <laughs> they just want the old stuff. It's pretty obvious now they're not interested in anything new. <laughs> Ooh, just a few days after. Oh boy, damn, damn Riker's going to be very happy. <laughs> Is this all online as well? Sorry, it's really quiet for me, so I've got it down really quiet, so I'm not like hearing what they're saying. I'm just seeing what they what I'm seeing. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. I'd like to say one thing. Oh no! Currently, oh here we go. Before. Which we previously oh, announced. Okay. <laughs> so we're not going to show it today. Swerve, but... Another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Oh. So Four's still being worked on, and they haven't got anything to show. But is is something Metroid? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's the name of Metroid? Right. So they still haven't got anything on Metroid. Metroid Five. What? Metroid 5. What? Would you believe mm -hmm. Metroid 5. Yep. It's just called Metroid 5. Oh my god, we finally have a sequel to Fusion. <laughs> Holy um, shit. Um, all right. All right. Video? Yes. Oh, yeah. They are showing stuff. Oh, it looks like it's... A it. It okay, like it's best thing about E3. It's, I think it's 2.5D, I think. I hope it's not... It's fighting, it's fighting a portal thing. If it's, oh, yes. Prime, if it's Metroid 5, it better not be in the same style as Prime. Cause oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not. Oh, no, this is clearly 2.5D, I reckon. Because you can tell we're just by like them. Yep, there we go. All right. Get ready for this, oh. Mario Curry. I think you're going to be very, very happy. My <laughs> God. Oh, boy. This is... Frankly, I think I'm more hyped for this than Prime 4. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh! It looks like oh! Good. That's the name! That's the oh, name! Wow, okay. Name drop, name drop. Yeah. That, that, isn't that the cancelled game's name? I, I think it was. Yeah, Met I'm sure that name has been about. Right. That name rings a bell. That was to, yeah, Metroid Dread. That was the cancelled Metroid 5, wasn't it, name? 
Oh, it looks like it's was done it? by the same studio who did the um, Metroid Samus Trigger Remake. Yeah. yeah. It is, isn't it? They did play oh, a lot to do so. Fusion, so this yeah. makes sense. They've done a Fusion sequel. So, right. are we going to get... Here's your Metroid. <laughs> are we going to get Yay. Samus Returns and Sa Met Metroid 5 before we get Prime 4 released? <laughs> <laughs> I Likely. wouldn't be surprised Likely. if there is a Samus Returns remaster as I'm well. I can, that. I can see yeah, that happening. I'm surprised they haven't done it already. No <gasps> oh, Wait. dear. Right. It, it looks like they're right. focusing a lot on the stealth from um, Zero Mission as well. Okay. Oh, okay, mm. you guys are ahead yeah. of me. Right. Uh, sorry, sorry, Mario Curry. But, well, this um, is coming out you'll, okay. you'll know about 8th of November. Uh, no, October. Okay. October, yeah. rather. Yeah. First new 2D Metroid gaming rough. No. <laughs> well, I guess new, brand new. Brand, one, brand new story, yeah. yeah. Not counting remakes, yeah. yeah. Eight, oh. yeah. So, yeah, later this year. Yeah, right. so it is going to be Prime 4. Ooh. That's that's more than I'm more than willing. That's more than willing to tide over time till Prime Four. I can't yeah. afford any more pre-orders, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh. yeah, that's that's I like a little bit of a concern Got for me now. Amiibo. Yeah. <laughs> mm. oh, okay. More money. Oh, goodbye, money. <laughs> oh, familiar franchises return to Switch. Okay, okay. what are these okay. familiar? Uh... <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> oh. Very, very familiar, as in annual, yeah. is what you mean. I think, okay. please go yeah, away well. now. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not coming out on the Wii, I'm disappointed. <laughs> they finally ended the reign of being the only Wii games coming out. <laughs> That's a combo That's kind of sad to oh, me. No. That's actually kind of sad to me. Oh, how could we go from Metroid Like, they should have just kept the Wii <laughs> ports going forever. <laughs> I guess they got a... Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh! Mm -hmm. Cruising! Yep. Cru Cruising Blast! Really? Yeah, it's got rumoured. Yeah, we played this, didn't we, at the arcades? Oh, we, yeah. Cheesy games. <laughs> oh, the game where you drive forward a bunch <laughs> and there's no, like, turns, <laughs> but, you know, it's so ridiculously dumb looking that, ah, oh, I'm oh, all happy. Really I can cool. hear the music as well. Cruising. <laughs> yeah. Is that. Oh, oh, okay, they're bringing over um, okay. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I take yeah. it. Saw yeah. that coming. I was surprised this didn't get port. This wasn't there from day one. Yeah. But I guess they had to work on a port. It's kind of like an open world one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I guess they had to f work on it to get it on Switch. Makes sense. I haven't I'm played it myself. This. I might even I might even play this now. <laughs> I've heard it's alright. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some good. It's getting it's getting loads of, of post-launch stuff like expansions and stuff. So that too, yeah. I know they're doing like the Trunks story as like an expansion. Yeah, I'm cool with this. It's cool to bring it over. Yeah, you know. It's silly not to put a Dragon Ball game on a Nintendo system on the Switch at this point. E3 has peaked for me now <laughs> this year. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get much better than Metroid 5, <laughs> are we? <laughs> it's about time! <laughs> mm -hmm. Metroid Dread. Uh... Oh, this is out soon, but I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, yeah me too. Fun. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I don't know why I like golf games. The tennis one was really good. I like golf games. I love... Yeah, I, I love, love golf game. games, especially on the Wii. Yeah. Motion, motion control uh, golf games are totally my I shit. Am I not working on this one? I believe so. Mm. Oh, I, I'm quite partial to a golf game as well. <laughs> They're yeah. just addictive. Yeah, they, they are very addictive and very chill. I played too much golf story when that came out. <laughs> oh, I still need to try that. I know that's getting a follow-up, yep. isn't it? I think it's called like Sports Story, and it's just like different sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks good. Looks... I like how this looks as over the top as the tennis game that came out, <laughs> uh, Aces. Aces was fantastic. Like, I think they're really knocking it out of the park with like the sports games this gen. I just hope they do another one of those football yeah, games. Yeah, new strikers would be good. Yeah, like the strikers. A new strikers would be absolutely brilliant. Like baseball. Like that Please let that happen. I wouldn't even mind. Oh, another baseball. They haven't done that for a while. I wouldn't even mind the, the new basketball one. Just make it good. Ooh, Odyssey level. <laughs> oh, nice. There's an Odyssey oh, nice. uh, area. Cool, cool. Hey, yeah, Donk City. Mode by the looks of it. Yep. Uh, yep, this one definitely no has Camelot RPG there. mode. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are all being Camelot, these uh, sports ones so far. I need something yeah, to do right into it. Camelot. Golden yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. 
time. As a story, uh, I love the way for no reason yeah, you can just it. attack each other while running to the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why not? How do you play golf? <laughs> it's like it's, it's like ninja golf on the uh, Atari yeah. 5200. Yeah, well, I'm saying beating people up as you go to the ball. Yeah, when are we getting a port of ninja golf to the Switch? <laughs> they did announce something to do with ninja golf recently. Hmm. Did they? Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Really? I don't know whether that was because huh. it was going to be on the Maybe they did. or something. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, nice. I really am quite interested in the Evercade. I just think it looks really fun to collect for. I, I'm a, I actually Especially consider... now they're doing a console version. Yeah, as well. that's what I was considering getting hey, rather than the handheld. Just a shame that like some of the cartridges are not playable on the console version because of rights issues or something. Like the Namco ones can't be played oh, on the awesome. console. Which is the portable's odd. all right. It's quite solid, you know. I like yeah, it does look nice. I think I would probably get the portable if I was to get one. I just like the look of the like little boxes they come in, or the full manuals and stuff. It just looks fun to collect for. Yeah. Oh. And you can get those nice uh, Atari Lynx uh, collections mm. and stuff like that for it. So it'll be a good way to play Lynx games. Oh, the next one's going to be good. Right. Okay. Ooh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Effing last! Something's happening. Uh, yes! <laughs> Cherry T's working today, but she's going to be very happy to see this. <laughs> and oh, I am too. Oh, yes! Yeah. Is it Yes! Yeah. About bloody time! Yay. <laughs> there was that sort of like remake on the 3DS, but other than that, it's been way too long. Made you Wario gorgeous. <laughs> Ah, oh, the Japanese name for that game yeah. is perfect. Oh. So this is interesting. This looks kind of different, actually. You've got like little avatars of the characters. Yeah. You can't beat them. Yeah. Yeah. These games are fantastic. Uh, they are some of my favourite like Nintendo games, full stop. Like oh. the original WarioWare is one of my faves. <laughs> I still uh, have... have um... This is looking kind of different, though. It's, it looks like it's not like all different art styles and stuff. It looks like it's consistent with like the characters on the screen. Hmm. Which is interesting. <laughs> oh god! <Yeah. laughs> oh, that baby is creepy. I still have DIY that I need to uh, unseal and actually play. Ah, oh, DIY is so good. <laughs> you can do some fun stuff with that. Oh, good. <laughs> get it together. Okay. Where, where? Get it together. Okay. Pre-orders begin today. Yeah. Did anyone see the release date? Oh, yeah, September. Oh, okay. Oh, it's going to okay. be a busy September, nice. October. September the 10th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just come up for me. <laughs> well, well, get it together. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of different, but it's it's not as different as, uh, you know, um, Wario, what was it called, on the Wii U. I forget the name of it. Game on Wario, that's it. I, I liked Game on Wario, but it wasn't a WarioWare game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a mini game collection, and WarioWare is not a mini game collection; it's a micro game collection. <laughs> oh, is this um... Persona? Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Five. Uh... Ah, another Thank game that's God, totally we got to see more of this. Of. <laughs> yeah, this has been years. I just beat like they literally announced this with the Switch. Yeah, I just beat Nocturne the other day, so I'm ready for the next game. Ah, you're in. You're in. Yeah, that bloody time. Well, you you didn't quite give us Prime Four, but you gave us a Metroid. Oh, I'm, 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 arguably I'm, even more hype. I'm, I'm arguably yeah, even more I'm hype. More than happy with Prime Four for I'm me. I'm totally fine with yeah. that trade off in India. <laughs> yeah. So I guess out of the games that were announced years ago, we can ch we can chalk another one off with this. Uh, it's just Bayonetta three now, I think. Out of the old, yeah, the games that were announced years ago, uh, yeah. as far as I know. Yeah. Unless I'm forgetting something. Well, wasn't it like two years ago since oh. Breath of the Wild two was teased, or was it, it last year? Nintendo Switch Pro sixty four announcement at the very <laughs> end. Oh, I hope so. I I actually really legitimately want a new Switch, like a more okay, this is very because I think that is literally the only thing holding the Switch. The back. thing is about this. If it was just a little bit more powerful, it would be. My favourite system of all time. Okay, so this is the first it's just game a little bit more seen. powerful. Yeah. This is a... If it was close to like Xbox One caliber specs, then it doesn't even have to match that. Just close, you know, just so more games can okay. play over. Well, so the thing is, press... with this direct, 
it's only software, so something may happen in the ah. treehouse afterwards. Uh, right, maybe we should keep. Maybe we should hang around for that then, yeah. and see if I don't get like, mm. you know, Nintendo cops coming <laughs> through the window or something. <laughs> okay, it's just very. I mean, they could. It's a big window. It's, it's easy to pop through. They can easily just jump on our on our kitchen roof and. Uh... Okay, this is this is so far. This is very Shimagami Tensei Four, uh, mm-hmm. mechanics wise. Oh, okay. It's not a bad thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Oh, alright, cool. I kind of want to see them do a collection of the old games, yes. just so <laughs> they can come out, yeah, so more people can play them. One and two they were quite hard to acquire yeah. <laughs> nowadays. Uh, one and two needs a remake quite desperately. I, I know Sega are saying that they want to try and get more Atlas stuff was about everywhere, so hopefully that's a sign that they're going to do I'm that. I'm glad they're that using Nanako's artwork for the characters again because they changed it in 4 and the hmm. character monster design looked a bit oh, naff, did they? but now they've gone back to the other uh, classics. Uh, hmm. Are they going to show the, um, the chariot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are they allowed? Tomorrow, it's just going to yeah. be all censored. They're going to put little black lines on certain parts of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give it some proper Japanese censorship. <laughs> November 12th. <laughs> nice. Really? Oh, Holy there you go. Shit. Well, this E3 really has been the, hey, we finally have a release date for this yeah. thing. <laughs> like, thing, <laughs> I guess. Damn. I didn't expect to see that. Newest game in the series. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Well, so far, Nintendo is definitely one E3 yeah. for me. <laughs> oh, Danganronpa. This is a new one. I would get into this, but I never really had a chance to, so. Hmm. These were mostly on feet of Yeah, yeah. they port to everything under the sun now. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. I played the first one through. I had fun. All I know about this game is that bear. That's the only thing I really know about it. (laughs) Yes! Yes, Cherry T. New WarioWare. We'll get it together. It looks kind of different to previous WarioWares, but uh, it's a new WarioWare, so... (laughs) Give me it. (laughs) They're giving me things I want. They're giving me Monkey Ball. They're giving me WarioWare. I think everyone's yeah, walking away for it. For me, they're yeah. I think so. I'm well pleased. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty damn happy. <laughs> yeah, they've they've really covered all quite a few bases <laughs> for <laughs> us <laughs> here. <laughs> By the way, are you still there, Elk? Or? No, he had to drop out because of the. Oh, did he? Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, dude. Yeah, sorry. Oh, didn't I did want to communicate that over, oh. but. Okay, um... this is different. We've been too busy reacting, I guess. Yeah, sorry about that, Elk, if you're still watching or anything. Oh, Numskull Games. They're, um, mm-hmm. they're quite local. Oh, are they publishing this? Yeah, or? well, apparently in... Uh... Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. I guess they're publishing it in Europe, like, physically, because they have been doing quite a bit of that. Yeah. I need to get yeah. on with the rest of the games in the series, oh. I think. They're releasing the rest of the series. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll... Well. Double dip on those. Oh, Get them on Switch. Hey! Another Wii U game bites the dust. Yeah. <laughs> or rather, another Wii U exclusive bites the dust. One of the few worth doing now. <laughs> Again, this is not a shock to oh. me. This is just a. Yay! Okay, this pleases me greatly. This, hey, this yeah. is just, a super rare Wii U game. So, the physical version of this was collector's yeah, edition yeah. only. And, no, it's, I, and it's worth. I never of got my hands now. on this in so, time. Yeah, like you yeah, said. Yeah. No one did. No one no. did. The physical version was collector's edition oh, only really? in Europe only, and it was in super limited quantities. And it's worth a fortune. Yeah, oh, it's like right. the most valuable Wii U game. I, so I'll be buying this one. Bringing yeah. this over so people can actually play it is this uh, series is brilliant. Is a good I thing love this series. Yeah, I really want to get stuck. I into still think it's the scariest horror more. series franchise. I think you might mm. be right. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I genuinely do jump a Good. lot of these games. Good. <laughs> Good. Now the Wii U has next to yeah, nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> it literally has, other than being able. I, I, I'm never getting rid of my Wii U because it's good for playing. Oh, Doom Eternal. <laughs> Was this? Didn't this already come out? No, it's, uh, I think the DLC the game came out. The DLC. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, so this is why I want them to make a more powerful Switch because if they can make it so these kind of games are not a blurry. 
choppy mess, then I'll be yeah, the Switch will be my favourite system of all time. It's kind of edging but that as it is. These kind of get yeah. These I mean, it just looks too. It looks like it's just got fast yeah, all over it. It's like it's not the way I'd want to play it. Even if I could just get it out. I'll turn it hook. Nice. I hope this runs well on the Switch because mm. I'd like to get this. Yeah. I heard it's a very good remake. Yeah. Like unlike the last time they remade it. Them. Plays exactly like the originals. If it's oh. anything like the PS, uh, PS okay. Xbox. It looks, nice. mm, oh, it looks okay oh. on Switch. <laughs> Just yeah. far right behind, I this might be the kind of game I might get on PS4 instead, honestly. Mm. Do you like me at it. And all having a handheld having a handheld version of this would be nice. Yeah. Strange Brigade. Yeah, I, I, I remember one. seeing this uh, EGX like three years ago now, and yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually interested in playing it. Hmm. I don't know anything no, about this it's, one. It's, it's like right. um, Tomb Raider, but with more shooty stuff. Like a co-op, yeah, co-op uh, multiplayer one. A lot of games this E3 have been like four-player co-op, haven't they? Lots of Left 4 Deads. <laughs> Yeah. Including a literal new Left 4 Dead in all but name. I don't get my Eternal Darkness on Switch. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. Hey, they're going to show a little bit more of this, nice. I guess. Or... Yeah. Hey, we accidentally leaked this. Soz, Soz Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would have ported Eternal Darkness by now. That's... You would. It didn't get leaked. It didn't get leaked months ago, so we thought we would just do it for you, Ubisoft. <laughs> Your leaky boat wasn't as leaky as usual, so we just yeah. Mm -hmm. Explore planets filled with quirky residents. See if they show a little bit more of it. Yeah, the way they've done the um, combat is quite a bit different this time. It's not so much grid based. You can actually run around quite freely. You just got like a little a bit like it's Mechanic of Kingdom where you can. Uh... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's less XCOM, more mm -hmm. that. Plus, the way you encounter battles is more like a traditional RPG now as well. Mm -hmm. um, like the enemies will be walking around the hub world and bump into them, and you end up on a little uh, battleground. Whereas the original game was the battlegrounds were just part of the world, and you walked up to them, and the battle would start. So yeah. Okay. The Instagram so, rabbit. <laughs> what? Okay. Orange Star Nation. Oh, oh what? 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 Oh shit! Yes. Oh, I'm not me. Oh yeah, my I'm god! Oh, it's like oh, is it a remake? remake? It's a remake, the I think. Oh, that looks well oh, nice. I, I love the sprite style. I did like the sprite style, but oh, I'm fine I... with this as well. That 2D animation oh, looks very I nice. I bloody love this series. Oh, I'm so happy. Nintendo. I'm so happy. Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? This animation's lovely. Really I like the 2D animation, <laughs> even more oh, than before. It, it looks like... Um... Yeah, it looks lovely. Just oh. Like <laughs> I hope they use this as a jumping platform <laughs> yeah. to like put like the Rob the Frog, in. get in yeah. here! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Please have it online. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this looks fantastic. It's both of them. Okay. Is it? It's the first two on YouTube. It yeah, it's oh, one and two. It's a remake of one and two. It's a remake of one and two. Oh, hell yeah, the two remakes. Oh, December Damn. 3rd. Oh, oh Jesus. This afford. year is getting stacked now. <laughs> This year is getting stacked. Oh Jesus. my god. Alright, well, now what? Now what? <laughs> oh! Okay, uh, is this to do with uh, Age of Calamity? Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's DLC. Expansion. That's fair. Was this good? Did people play this and enjoy I it? Enjoyed the demo oh, well I, I didn't enough. really hear anyone talking I about it. it. It seems like it just kind of came and went. <laughs> Like, I still want to fine. grab it yeah. myself. So, um, I really what, like it's, the first it's one of these games. <laughs> what I've heard, I guess. everyone did enjoy it. Look. You played one, you've kind of played them all. <laughs> but yeah. It depends on if you like the skin or not, you know? <laughs> do I like the... Uh, do I like, yes, the, the characters and the uh, the world yeah. enough? Yeah, I guess. Well, that's a weird we new weapon. <laughs> oh, there's that uh, horse bike thing. <laughs> From the uh, Breath of the Wild DLC. I liked it, this game just Pulse of the Ancients. Just for its narrative value because it does add to Breath of the Wild's plot. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's good. That hey. They've actually made like a proper non canon thing. I actually thing, not got just that like, boy. Here's a bunch <laughs> of fan service thrown yeah. together. Here's a bunch of fan <laughs> work. You know how bloody annoying it is to get that boy. Right. Okay. Right. We, okay. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. All right, are they just gonna like? Oh wait! <laughs> when I was saying, oh, that's all the old games they announced, not shown. I forgot a very, very significant one <laughs> that might show up <laughs> or not. A few more things to share with you all today. Um, Go on then. What a direct this has been. <laughs> we'll begin with Sky with Sword HD. Oh, I guess you can do yeah, that that's... one. It's out in like a month, but we got about five minutes left, so. This is going to be the best five minutes oh, ever. Oh, okay. This is going to be your one. This is going to be your one more thing, I guess. I don't think anything's going to top uh, like Advance Wars one and two. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's oh, wow. Man, that was. I didn't expect that. It kind of no. had a dot emu look to it, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. like the animation looked like did. um two D animation. Link's today. Awakening, mm. a tiny bit. It's all mm. like that toy. A little bit, yeah. Toy um. Yeah. Look. I think that's an aesthetic yeah, it of makes bits. Sense. <gasps> yeah, it really does. Alright, your head's clearly. What? He's clearly ahead. Let's go with Sword HD. <gasps> no. Next up. Oh, okay. 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 I am so sorry oh, for your God. wallets. I am so oh, sorry for your oh, wallets. My wallet. Oh my God. I am so sorry. Oh, no. I am so, so sorry. Do you need a loan? Do you guys need a loan? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted one of those. Do you guys, oh, my God. Do you guys need to steal some money? These. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. I knew they were going to do this. Oh dear. So, uh, this, yeah, this, is, this changes everything. <laughs> Please have Zelda still on it as well. I really wanted one yep. of these. Oh, I'm yeah. so happy. I mean, at this point, it gets better. At this point, <gasps> oh my yeah. god! I always got the Game Boy game oh on it as well. God. It yeah, has the best bit. Zelda game Maybe on it. Are you kidding? It's got the best Zelda got game on it. Yeah. Two. Oh wow! One, two. Okay. Yes, Link's Awakening. Right. Okay. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I I'm gonna move this to the top anyway because there we go there we go there we go it's, it's fixed one now it's like so PC Wizard I fixed it now <laughs> wow that looks cool oh my god oh, the clock stuff okay, so now we've confirmed they're gonna be more they of somehow made have, this like, even better than the Mario one, one now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when, when does that come Metroid up then? Because I can't cool. get the money for that, because these things... Like, November 12th. Is that when the, when do the pre-orders go up? Um, I'll let you know. You know what? Here's the last thing we have to show you. You know what these things are like? <gasps> they yep, be... here it is. There it is. <gasps> there it is. Yeah. Two years have passed. It's been two bloody years. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Has been steadily progressing. Yeah. Breath of the Wild 2 is on its way. Oh, it, they take a lot. We've prepared some new footage. <laughs> That's a good place to end, I think. Yeah. They, I knew they were... That's a very, very good place. I've Game of Watch. I just knew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the anniversary as well, it makes too much sense. Thank God they actually did it. Hey, we've finally seen more of this. If they want to give this a release date of, like... It'll probably be next year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this will not be the... This is, no way is this coming out this year. Right <laughs> oh, wow. That's very... Um, Skyward Sword, what's going on? It is, actually, very. I wonder if that's why they're re-releasing Skyward Sword, because this kind of looks like it's... Shouldn't have fit in the timeline that way, but who knows? Got elements of it. Yeah. No one says they have to got be elements of it. close together in the timeline, though, I suppose. Just mm. This and the sequel. Hey, it's a much more gameplay, nice. Why does this thing look so different now? I still need to finish the first one! <laughs> Or even time. get remotely close to finishing the first oh, one. Oh, nice, you can get um, Bokobin camps on there. It's one of those games that I find really hard to go back to. I find it really daunting to actually even just jump back into it. It's like, I just know I'm going to go in and be like, what was I even doing? <laughs> Help. What's with that swimming ability? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hmm. you'll see something else in a second. Oh. The new Nintendo Switch looks like a, a lot like a Game and Watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was the Switch Pro. Did you see how much better the graphics were? <laughs> they remade, they remade um, Link's Awakening again for it, even. With okay. even better graphics. Ah, 2022. There you go. Well, it's next year. 
as I thought it would yeah. be. That's a good place to wrap this up, I think. <laughs> no, they have got the um, tree house after this. Mm -hmm. hmm. Thankfully, we have a lot to in the works for a few. It's probably been in work in the works since the first one came out, so. Yeah, this guy is that's all for this Nintendo Direct. Hey, look, I'm a. Uh, hang on, if I move slightly, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I am the guy on the right. <laughs> the guy on the right. I forget his name. <laughs> How was that? That was lovely, Nintendo. I got to go oh no, it didn't quite work. <laughs> the bow didn't quite work. <laughs> well, well, well then. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was. We, um, we can't really top that. So, if, poor if yeah, no, that was um, having to follow this up. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite, quite good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to say that was it quite good. I kind of, I'm kind of gutted. Monkey Ball, the Monkey Ball remake got leaked because that I would have been like running around the house <laughs> at that if that was the first time I'd seen it. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Monkey Ball One and Two because yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> I think highlight was probably one of the big highlights has got to be uh, Advance Wars 1 and 2. Like, Hell yeah. yeah. Didn't think they would ever go back. I didn't know if they would ever go back to that, honestly. Um, oh, I should probably move this I, to just work I'm down struggling down. to pick like a win for that one. It's hard because yeah. between Metroid it hit after hit. I think after Metroid hit. Thrive is going to be like the. The one everyone's talking about. You're gonna go on Twitter. Uh, it's gonna be Metroid. It's gonna be Metroid Dread. Oh, because um, how? Yeah, you know, how many years has it been since they've even like uttered the word Metroid? Let alone given us the fifth instalment in the series, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, let's put it this way: um, Metroid Prime. Uh, sorry, Metroid Four was a Game Boy Advance game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's how long it's been. Um, <laughs> So, tree... does anyone know when this treehouse thing it's starts? It's happening right now. Is it? You got, oh. you got Doug Bowser oh. talking right now. Have you oh, got okay. a link? I might as well pop that. I might as well put Nintendo's. Right, we're not going to be able to hear what they're saying, unfortunately. But is there captions? I could put ca I could put yeah. auto-generated captions on yeah, if that yeah, helps. Yeah, that works. Even though it's going to be probably gibberish, but we'll we'll roll with it, I guess. Yeah, we might as well keep going. I haven't got anyone. Yeah, uh, in case anyone was wondering, I was just, I was just. <laughs> You've done Belsa's head now. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Hang on, if we go back a bit, if I go back a oh, bit. Jesus Christ, the last wars. Right, yeah, right there, there we go, there we go, there we go. I've done Belsa. <laughs> I got hired, and my name just so happened to be Belsa. <laughs> There we go. Why the, the, the Sonny t shirt? Hmm? <laughs> oh, well, you see, that's because I had my name legally named changed oh. to Doug Sonic. He's a plant. Have, has anyone noticed that <laughs> Doug Bowser's jacket is blurred? And he's be sharing his no, oh, yeah, the label on the bottom. The first 2D new oh, yeah. Maybe it says. Sega. So they, they can't oh, blur out the Sonic <laughs> because they can blur out whatever that is. They've blurred out, I am actually Bowser. I am the Bowser. In disguise as an yes. old man. <laughs> or oh, middle-aged man. <laughs> I shouldn't say old. Hey, I'm but... actually ahead of you now. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm currently looking for pre-orders for the game. Right. Oh, I think they're going to show more gameplay of Metroid Dread, so... True. By the sounds of it. And WarioWare as well. Mm -hmm. So... Oh. Man. Well, I haven't I haven't been busted by the Nintendo police yet, so I'm going to turn this up a wee bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Yeah, they they're, they're going to show some more Metroid Dread right now. Hey, welcome back. Oh, because oh, hey, it was immediately clear you guys were like ten seconds ahead of me in the Nintendo Direct. Oh really? Oh, sorry about that, man. Yeah. Was you watching though? Sorry, oh, I you were. Yeah, plus I had well. to. Plus, I had to go take care of something at, uh, in the middle of it. Oh, that's alright. Well, now we, now you're back. What did you think? <laughs> uh, I think Nintendo saved E3, definitely. <laughs> yeah, right. They, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did. It was alright. <laughs> what was the highlight for you? 
or highlights, I guess. I'm trying to think back. Uh, Metroid Dread, I guess. <laughs> that game looked mm. awesome. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah. was, there a, was there a leak for a game called Metroid Dread? Because that name sounds very familiar. It, I like I'm home, pretty right? sure that was the name of a cancelled game. It was the name of a cancelled at some point. Metroid game, yeah, I believe. Oh. Yeah, they basically un we've uncancelled it. <laughs> they said okay. it's. I'm gonna turn they just okay. said it's nine oh, years and, uh, since the last uh, game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Mario yeah. Mario Party Superstars was a, a highlight as well. There's already a fully. Yeah, I can imagine if you're a big fan of. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Blimey, that's quick. So this game was cancelled, and now it's not cancelled. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's, okay, so it was a so it was a cancelled game then. That's cool. Yeah, it was originally going to be on no, DS. Yeah. It was going to be. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, DS. I remember now. Okay. This was supposed to be a DS game. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. oh wow! Interesting. I was surprised when he said this was the first brand new 2D Metroid in 19 years. I can't believe it's been yeah. that long since uh, Metroid Fusion. Uh, I assume he means mm. Metroid Fusion. Yeah. Zero yeah. Yeah. Main new line. That's not yeah, true though. That's not yeah. true though because we had other M. <laughs> Was that a TV <laughs> Metroid? I guess oh, yeah. that counts. It's sort of a bit of both, wasn't mm. it? It was uh, oh, yeah, kind of 3D and 2D. <laughs> yeah, some people <laughs> liked it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna move some things around a little bit. Uh, if, I, if my Twitch channel gets banned, then oh well. <laughs> they should out on a high day. Yeah. Anyway, though, I'm also yeah, looking forward yeah. to uh, Mario Party Superstars. Yeah, I mean, they're basically giving Mario Party fans what they want. <laughs> well, sort of. This isn't really... Um, so what this is, is like a greatest hits of the uh, Nintendo 64 exactly. game specifically. So it's... Oh, is it? Ah, yeah, so there's okay. supposed to be five boards from Mario Part, uh, the Nintendo 64 ah, trilogy, and I recognize okay. that. The Peach's... I mean, to be fair, the N64 ones are everyone's favorites anyway, to yeah. be fair. Peach's birthday cake one was from the first Mario Party, and the Spit yeah. one was from Mario Party 2. Why are Nintendo so, so good at rendering food in their games? <laughs> like, first Pikmin 3, I was playing Pikmin 3 and literally salivating at some of the food in that game. <laughs> and then and then that, that, that cake stuff in Mario Party is just like, what? <laughs> Why does it look so good? I remember food looking pretty good in Breath of the Wild too, even if it wasn't very big or detailed images of the food. Mm. There was, specifically, there was, like, DLC for uh, Pikmin 3, where you, like, walk along a pizza, and the pizza looked real. It looked so good. Okay, <laughs> it looked like you could reach into the screen and eat it. <laughs> you know, I'm just remembering that people were, um... We're, we're making up memes of Nintendo Rafi. Okay, see you later, uh, PC Wizard. Oh, PC Cheers Wizard. for hanging out with yeah. us. All right. Yeah, he's been in the later. chat, yeah. In the uh, stream chat, rather. I was just remembering how someone people it when memes of uh, <laughs> a Switch port of Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, like mm. Nintendo was... Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I felt like you posting that on the Discord was like a... Yeah, I did post almost, that. Like, refer psychology, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, if you post this and set yourself up for disappointment, then it's going to be good. <laughs> you know, I wasn't, I wasn't intending that, but that is pretty clever. <laughs> I only shared it. Yeah, you should pat yourself on the back, Elk. <laughs> you should pat yourself on the back for that thing you didn't intend. <laughs> yeah, I and uh, I remember seeing a fake Amazon listing for uh amiibo festival switch port i think they called it animal <laughs> coming crossing. soon to the pound shop <laughs> I, I think they called it animal crossing amiibo festival new season and people were freaking out <laughs> thinking it was real <laughs> Ooh, i like this new power for samus i am watching I think Nintendo the, in general have lost a lot of lessons from uh, metroid dread this game looks pretty awesome. I'm glad it's subtitled. <laughs> it actually looks quite unsettling too. Mm. It was one of the things I liked about Metroid. <laughs> so did they did they confirm that this is by the developers of Samus Returns? Uh, it, it seems yes. like they were 
yeah. we're working with Murphy's team again. Sorry, that's why I've been so quiet. Ah. I've been like fully focused on this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> Loving the spike you magnet. You've here that were from Metroid Samus Returns, like that melee mm. character. One of the things they were just saying a little while ago was mm. that they came up with this concept for this game 15 years ago. <laughs> well, at what Nintendo, yeah. I presume. They dropped right. it. And they were like, hey, do you guys want to make the next <laughs> Metroid? And they were like, mm, uh, we'll think about it. Depends how much you're going to give us, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that would have a little hard. That would have a hard think about it. <laughs> the slide. Why do these enemies look like they're from Portal? They might as well. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the slide a lot. That's what happens. Sonic addition. Mania. It, even if it's not quite the same type of game Sonic Mania was. It looks like you can run and do that mm -hmm. combat um, counter as well. Yeah, you can. You can uh, get a running start on that melee counter. That's pretty neat. So yeah. there's a lot more mobility mm -hmm. to uh, to this game than it was just. 2D Metroid. I think it's cool. <laughs> right, guys, uh, extended gameplay I'm, there. I'm a, a happy I'm little Pikachu. I'm going to drop out. <laughs> oh, hey there, uh, Buck. Welcome to the stream. We're just watching the uh, Nintendo Treehouse at the moment where they're talking about Metroid Dread. Uh, and new 2.5D Metroid 5, essentially. Yeah, I mean, they straight up said it was Metroid 5. Yeah, so. they don't said Metroid game. There you go. Metroid Fusion. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> Canonical yeah. 2D one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fusion's technically forward. What was it? Are we going to stay home, Thunder? Sorry? Yeah, I'm dropping out. Anything <laughs> exciting? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I will catch you later, <laughs> man. See you later, uh, Hunt Thunder. Thanks for yeah, joining us. Hi, Hunt. It's been fun. Anything exciting? Um, Buckplug just said anything exciting. Nah, it's kind of shit, really. <laughs> it was, it was, it was crap. I mean, look at this rubbish. Yeah. Look at it. Why, why would anyone want Metroid Five? You know. Right. <laughs> Here I was so waiting yeah, for uh, reveal for Switch. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, Buck. Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2 remakes, Advance Wars 1 and 2 remakes. I just want to say that again. A new WarioWare, a new, yeah, Advance Wars 1 and 2 remakes, right? Okay, let that sink in, all right? Advance. A new WarioWare. <laughs> A new goddamn WarioWare. Yeah, new Super uh, <laughs> Wario. Gameplay of Breath of the Wild 2. Which did they? Did it have a name? Uh, did no. Breath of the Wild 2 have a name, or are they still not Being saying? Play, and they revealed that you'll be exploring the skies of Hyrule. Hmm. Here's another return. Remakes are not excited. Depends what they are. Really I think. Depends how much they like, need it or how they can. Well, be. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, it depends on whether the remake is a good remake. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Guys, that kind of provides some context. Metroid is awesome, though. An HD remaster of Skyward Sword. I I think it's connected. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Mm. Remember, Skyward Sword is supposed yeah. to be the earliest point in the entire Zelda timeline. Yep. Melee dash. Mm. I really love that because there could be a, a you could be uh, exploring the ruins of Skyloft, which is where that game took place. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I could definitely see why they've released Skyward Sword now, like specifically now, because it's clearly got a tie in in some way to uh, that game. Interesting. It already that trailer made it pretty obvious. Not to mention Skyward Sword actually had a lot of stuff that they expanded on in Breath of the Wild, such as. Yeah. Yeah, parrot or really cooking food, which I didn't even read. Exactly, yeah. When I, I played I Breath of the that, Wild, I forgot like, that stuff was in Skyward so Sword, actually. I think a lot of people just forgot about that game in general. <laughs> oh, yeah, kind of. I didn't get particular. It came out really late in the Wii's life, and I don't think it was many people who really uh, played it as like previous you know, mainline Zelda games. This is, I didn't uh, even this game until after the Wii U really came out. So, yeah. so Buck, this is uh, Metroid Dread. It's uh, a new Metroid game that's coming to the Switch. Yeah, I don't think Nintendo are making 3DS games anymore. No. I think that's pretty. That ship has sailed. <laughs> as great as the 3DS was, that's absolutely amazing as that system is. <laughs> like, Stop production. Probably one of Nintendo's best systems. 
because there is at this no point something here that I have. It was a data switch system, um, so I could use markers. Yeah. and so was the DS for that matter. In case I don't have an ability. And the GBA. Yes. Um, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's yeah. yeah. Nintendo ever um, steered us wrong with hand uh, with handheld systems? Be really mm. important in this labyrinthine oh. world. Unless you count the Wii U game out. <laughs> <laughs> or the it virtual really boy. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I still think the virtual boy is kind of cool, though. When I played one, I was like, hey, this is actually kind of neat. <laughs> Connecting it with an AC adapter because it's not even, it doesn't even have batteries. Oh, yeah, virtual on batteries. Even the Nomad had That's, that. Yeah, you do have to, you do have to plug it in. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't really count as a handheld. Actually, you probably wouldn't love it so much if you spent like two hundred quid on it or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, was I almost hell. bought one once. Not to mention, even a if friend of mine was moving to, have to Sweden have and he had one for sale, you're gonna have to have that thing strapped to your face in public. Like it just seems too impractical. <laughs> yeah, I, ac um, I actually, yeah, had I almost had the charm. I remember, oh, did you? I hated it. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, you probably played it for more than 20 minutes, so that's probably why. Yeah, I did. <laughs> like, I played it for like 10 minutes and was like, oh, this is neat. I definitely. <laughs> but if I played it for longer than that, I'd probably be like, oh, I feel sick. <laughs> I definitely spent more than 20 minutes on it, yeah. Also, I remember I being the really the games it had were pretty good. Also, I remember being really scared of Tellero Boxer. <laughs> was you quite young when you had it then? Uh, yeah, I would have been uh, six or yeah. seven years old yeah. when, um, okay. when it came out. And I was scared of Earthbound and Super Mario 64. Oh my gosh. I don't blame you with Earthbound, especially near the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> if you got to the end of the game as a kid, I would have been traumatized by that ending. I definitely okay. did not, but I'm sure I would have absolutely been terrified at the end of that game if I did get there. Yeah, even the way that game boots up is kind of spooky. Like the, the the soundscape at the start of Earthbound is pretty uh, it did pretty ominous with the UFOs. So even so, I consider myself very lucky to have actually had that game when it yeah, was new is a, uh, so i'm yeah damn right so i'm various areas i'm wondering if like um, sort of samus still has her ability to absorb the x parasite in this game i presume she does because her suit seems very very different uh, the color yeah it looks kind of parasitic doesn't it it looks like it's it has the blue of the fusion suit uh, yeah the uh, yeah. colors did absolutely remind me of the fusion suit Mm. But uh, yeah, I think some of that suit I'm pretty sure the um, the X parasite mm -hmm. was completely wiped out at the end now of Metroid the, Fusion. So uh, unless mm. unless there's something similar or there's a story reason for it coming back in this game, I don't think it's quite the same thing in this game. I I do love how the Barry Curry. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, what's that? What was she saying? I was just saying this that is nice. some of the um, suit has been basically like they had to surgically implant it because of what happened in Fusion. So yeah, it makes sense. Oh. It makes sense. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's true. Like that. That's true. I almost forgot about that. Also, I can't remember. Was the X parasite completely eradicated, or was it just from the space station? Was there, think, was there other outbreaks? I mean, yeah. As far as I'm aware, it's not completely eradicated simply because when Samus encountered the X virus, it was on a random planet. Whereas the next yeah. parasite you encounter in the game is just on this ship. So it came from SR388, didn't it? Right. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah. So presumably, mm. especially now that the Metroids have been eradicated, they have no natural predator anymore. Just realizing yeah. chat. Yeah, also, be. Samus Returns did show you a, a little reveal at the end of the X Parasite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can also oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen any on, on this game, though, so. No. True. Mm. Really, it's I mean, I do wonder if they will pull uh, Samus Returns off. I after really this movie. hope so. That would be a really smart move. Mm. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. and I love. I'd like to see more three D. I love how they're playing with uh, liquid physics here. But you could also just they're doing a lot yeah. more with the uh, the two point five D concept. That's what I really like about two point five. Ooh, that's cool. And I that's play with nice. a lot of three D a three D physics, <laughs> even in a two D space. Yeah. It's also like it's yeah. early days, but I compare it to Samus Returns, the map looks far more legible. Like looking at the, the scenery, okay. it looks a lot more like Samus Returns was very like it's all underground, all 
uh, rocky. Yeah, it can, it can be very yeah. hard to navigate visually. Yeah, uh, right. That yeah. makes sense. Love this. I love the atmospheric yes. design here. You can hear in the background the this music. It's beautiful. It's really nice, like, atmospheric. Yeah. It really puts you on pins and needles. It is it's just it weird. Very... I, I am and I love this robot that. that's <laughs> following you around. <laughs> I'm just... I love how... Uh, it's all right. Samus is okay. She's got 99 E-tanks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love how rigidly it moves around. And and how it chases you on all fours. It looks absolutely cool terrifying. It very much reminds me of when you're running away from the the X Samus Samus X S I X. Yeah, mm. I'm feeling that's yeah. what we're going for. Except this thing being more robotic than that. It um, hmm. it's a lot. Well, I guess. So luckily, I guess the uh, can't go through type the spaces. evil Samus, I forget what it's called, so from Metroid Fusion, is kind of like that as well. well yeah, the S A X. Yeah, S A X. Thank you. <laughs> but this thing being oh, a, a okay. completely robot, where there's absolutely it's nothing uh, human about it, it feels a lot more okay, cold. I Terminator-ish. I love it. I wonder what. Um... Oh, the way it turns around. Yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I and the way, it, the way it turns around so <coughs> excuse me uh so uh unnaturally also i don't know if it's my that's I, very I, old I, I wonder uh what kind of crazy special edition they'll probably announce for this oh, oh yeah <laughs> don't don't say that around <laughs> you know what i'm not looking forward to with this game seeing what kind of features they're gonna lock behind those amiibos uh, <laughs> i thought you might just, you might just have to sell your children Tom. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's that is right. a solid idea. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we just it's toasted far too much. I remember we just have really excited about kids. Amiibos when they were first shown off for <laughs> Smash 4. And now yeah. when I see Amiibos, I just can't help but groan. I got the Terry one recently. I was kind of a little bit disappointed with it. Like, it doesn't really look like the photo of it on the listing. <laughs> It's not quite as detailed as the uh, the photo, but it's all right. I I have a Terry Bogard in my collection now, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, my Terry Amiibo for Smash Brothers. Yeah, I grabbed that one. Yeah, just to have a Terry Bogard on my shelf, basically. I kind of considered getting that, but I'm not so sure anymore. I just it's all right. If you, if you can get it cheap, I got mine for a tenner. So. Yeah, maybe if I can get it cheap, but it's hard to motivate myself these days to get any Amiibo. Yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, that, that's fair. I'm, just I, I'm in the same boat, pretty much. I have I'm just so sick of the Amiibos Samus's now. I have all of the Samus yeah. ones so far, so I'll probably have to get these ones just if they do look stuff behind Amiibo, which they no doubt will. So, uh, by proxy, you kind of have to. Yeah. 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 Like, and... Adam in three, I'll, I'm sure I'm going to have to get those as well. Just, At least the ones based on whatever new idols are shown in this game. Yeah. Because I, I was already I'm done with Amiibos uh, by the time Splatoon 2 came out, and I still got the off-the-hook Amiibos. And, uh, I would love if we got Advanced Wars ones. I'd have loved that. Uh, oh, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, the video for I do wonder if they are starting to slow down on... Um... Slow down on Amiibos because I think they're just sort of wrapping them up with the, the rest of the Smash Brothers ones, and they haven't really announced. Well, there was a couple here, wasn't there? They did announce a couple. A couple for set. Yeah. Uh, now, cars. The sun's out, so vroom vroom. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's fair to say we're probably not going to see anything to do with a hardware revision, like people were saying. Uh, I don't think we're going to see it at E3, no. no. I think this is definitely going to be a... Uh, it'll probably be sometime after at this point, mm -hmm. if it's going to happen. If, if at all at this point. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Slidey platforms, that's quite new for Metroid. Um, that check. was uh, the Emmy, as Dan had mentioned, they have kind of three modes. Oh, One so is the surveillance, the other is giving their Twitter uh, review. Uh, oh. For some reason, Kirby's <laughs> trending. Uh, <laughs> is it because uh, of that one? Of... one oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. All that. Can you guys hear me okay? 
Yep. Um, okay, good. My internet oh my just God. died, actually. On, 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 on the oh, trending like, for uh, Kirby, the there's a photo of Kirby engagement and wedding rings. <laughs> Wait, what? That you can get. Kirby engagement and wedding rings. Wedding rings? That's oh, oh, Yeah. They look really oh. nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Why don't you get one for Lady so, Cherry Terrier? Uh, are pretty rude, <laughs> relentless and ruthless. Uh, it so, is sort of Kazuya's like trending, like Kirby's um, trending. I can't um, Bayonetta 3's <laughs> trending for all the wrong <laughs> reasons. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe Kirby's Ganondorf's <laughs> trending because he got thrown off a mountain as well. I can't believe Kirby's Damn. not yeah. effing dead. That game over looked pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. For some I did, reason, I just uh, Animal Crossing is also trending. I don't know why. Seems Japan's Maybe because they industry. didn't show Animal uh, Crossing Amiibo okay, Festival, so people are relieved. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It seemed... And Wii U is trending as well because, hey, another Wii U game that you can actually play on a system that more than so many people have. Well, did they show a Wii U game and today? I forget. Oh, oh right, yes, right. Um, Fatal, uh, Fatal Frame. I forgot. That was a Wii U yes. game, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. A very, now. very hard to acquire one. <laughs> I remember they did like a demo for it. They did a demo for it, but the demo almost filled up my Wii U's hard drive. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't download that demo either. It was massive. And it was download only, only in the West, wasn't it? it uh, in Europe, there was a collector's edition that was physical, but it's incredibly rare and small oh, print run. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, then, that's it. Yeah, that was all there was. Yeah, so. in North America, there was no physical release whatsoever. Maybe there will no, be one this time. I, I should think they will this time, because it would be silly not to. I'm feeling <laughs> yeah, they better. Oh, yeah, it better not be well digital better. only again. That would suck. Still, yes, I'm just glad I like I having. I, I like collecting the little cartridges. I love them. I like know <laughs> when the servers go down. I still have my game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. It seems like in Japan they're getting a special edition for Shin Megami Tensei Five. They showed a picture of it Ooh, on Twitter. Okay. Oh, okay. What's it? Uh, I posted it in it? the uh, Discord. It seems like there's an art book okay. and all that jazz T-shirt. <laughs> the usual. <laughs> To the next. Mm. Such a cool detail. Uh, I just need to move some around. Yeah, it was neat seeing Jack Frost. Oh, I see. Oh, that looks nice. Five. That's quite classy. Mm. That's quite I nice looking. This doesn't look tacky. It's a nice yeah, t-shirt, a nice uh, book. A and some kind of DVD. Yeah, or OST maybe. It's DVD. Will yeah. Grant me more visibility to yeah. the um, area that yeah, I'm currently in. Um, yeah, this is definitely this has definitely been an E3 so for so hey, this has a release date now. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's quite like Elden Ring, Ring. especially like Elden Ring and Starfield, <laughs> like they're actually getting solid release dates and not oh we're still working on it. <laughs> Except for Bayonetta three. Looks different. <laughs> But yep, that's the only one that's like kind of just. Or Metroid. I'm starting to four. get a little bit. Hey, at least we got. At least we got they, some. They Metroid did say game. it was coming. Yeah, they did say it's still in the works. So what? Bayonetta three or that one? Oh right, you mentioned uh, Metroid, Metroid Prime four. Metroid yeah, Prime, yeah. So yeah, they did say it's still coming along. So yeah. That'll, that'll come. We re restarted again, so I'll... <laughs> it'll come within our lifetime. Another for you. Hopefully. I mean, it's, I, I, I for one, am very, very pleased about the new Game Watch. I'm glad that's still not a one and done thing for Nintendo. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, as cool, I'm Murray Curry said, it's very, it's kind of predictable with the anniversary, mm -hmm. but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, my only thing with that is that I remember there was actual, there was an actual Legend of Zelda Game and Watch game, so I don't. Mm. Yeah. But regardless, yeah, it's a shame they didn't put them on. Regardless, I do think what they put together is cool. Yeah, defeating enemies. You've got the Mario one, haven't you, Mario Curry? Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's solid. It's really fun. I like it. Yeah. Took me a little while to get used to the more spongy buttons, but once I did, it was quite playable. Yeah. Have people been hacking that as well? Really? Have they been hacked? Uh, yet, no, or? because uh, it's not the the cable is uh, not uh, data transfer cable. It's, but it's, it's only uh, power. 
So you would oh, also. Uh, okay, so it would be too difficult to hack. You would probably does use this. this shame. Did this thing not use a USB cable for its power? It did. It used a USB C, but the problem is, is it is only for power. It's not for data transfer. Like you can't. Oh, I see. Uh, so it doesn't matter what yeah. USB C cable you yeah. use. Yeah. You will only charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's different from uh, mini consoles, like the the Genesis Mini. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I guess it's possible if you were to fiddle with maybe like the board. You'd probably have to pop the thing open. And yeah, you could probably do it then, I suppose. But if you really want to. <laughs> Here's a I can't so imagine that's a, a priority for people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people have better ways to play NES games, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Yeah. no, I'm just... I know, we got three pretty damn solid Zelda games all in one package there. I mean, I think that's... I love that they put Link's Awakened in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice bonus. To me, that's cool. that, that's a really big deal. That's the highlight, actually. <laughs> Probably my favourite like thing on the Game there. Boy. I oh, hate that yeah, that's your only up, right? way to play the Game it's Boy game up, now, besides so buying it on the 3DS. The mm. series, but it is still a cool addition. Um, so Samus, you yeah. Know, yeah. It's, hard, yeah. it's hard for me to pick a favorite Game Boy game, but it might be Belmont's Revenge. God, I love that game. Love that game. Mm. Um, what game? The Game Boy. What was this game? Castlevania. Uh, Belmont's Revenge, yeah, Castlevania 2. Oh, Castlevania Adventure 2. Yeah, that's a very good game. That might be my favorite. Mm. Speaking of which, those are on sale at the moment on the eShop. All of those, if you don't have them. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. I forget. Is that oh. game in that Castlevania anniversary yep. collection? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, okay. cool. You can yeah. also okay. play the Japanese version, so you can have the uh, different sub items that are only available in Japan. All right. Uh, All right. The, 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 nice. the proper way to play. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll have I, I bought that collection when it was on sale, so I can finally, like, eventually oh, get around to actually trying to play those yeah, games. Yeah, I think they're four pound each at the moment. So, it's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I bought them for that price. No. Even all the, I bought the Contra one as well, I am tempted into the limited run version. I really am tempted, even though I have them all. Yeah, because I'm never going to own um, Contra Hardcore on a cartridge <laughs> yeah, right. or for the Mega Drive, so by the way, that's probably the closest thing. By the way, I'm, at, I'm pretty lucky that I have a copy of Contra Hardcore, but I have the Contra Anniversary yeah. Collection as well. I'm probably not going to get I'm probably not going to get either of those physically because I'm not the biggest <laughs> Contra or Castlevania guy. I only have so much money, so I try to limit myself <laughs> to get word in don't worry about it. Don't worry stuff about that's really, <laughs> really special when it comes to limited run releases. Mm. Out of that limited run stuff, there's at least like four games I want to get out of that. <laughs> there, I remember that game Haven. I thought looked really cool. I might get well, look into that and yeah. uh, see if I might want to get a physical version of that one, <laughs> even though I've never heard of it before. So now we can't go through this area. Because I feel like with some of the limited run stuff now, even if it's a game I'm only like, oh, I might like this. I might just get them anyway because if I don't like them, I can easily get my money back by selling them. That's what I'm trying to think of it like. Yeah. <laughs> True, but like, yeah. That's and if I end up loving it, then great, I have a limited physical version of it. You know. Yeah. That's what I did with River City Girls. I hadn't actually played it prior that's, to That's what I want to ask. I was like, I'll try that's it. That's what I want to ask. Are they actually yeah. reprinting uh, the first uh, game, or are they doing like a one and two collection, or is it just Superstars. they're doing the mid run of the second I game? I think what's happening with River City Girls is they are reprinting it, but only for PlayStation 5. Yeah, I think that's what it looks Damn like. Damn it! Because yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that. Yeah, that's silly. <laughs> I mean, but, you yeah. Can... Uh, Play Asia still has their physical version of River oh, City. Oh, there is other physical versions. I'll do yeah. that because I bought the. Uh, yeah, I would say get the Asian version at this point. Yeah, it's probably a lot cheaper. Probably is. I bought, um, yeah. pre-ordered the uh, Blaster Master One to Three collection from Play Asia because it's got oh, they've yeah. added voice acting, but only to that version. They're not. They're not going to be putting them in. They're not retroactively putting them in the existing versions of one and two. But if you buy the physical, what collection from J Japan, you will get that. Um, oh, and I yeah. think yeah, free is coming out anyway, and it's just as expensive yeah. to just buy a limited run version of free when I could just buy all three mm. from Asia. So I thought, uh, so look, what game was that? Sorry? Blaster Master One to Three Collection. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
Yeah, because they've been doing all of those like individually on limited run, mm. weren't they? Whereas there's a trilogy coming out. Yeah. There. I'll be I'll be doing that, and then I'm very tempted. I'm very because I don't know what to do with the Castlevania Requiem thing because I do want to have a version I can physically play, but I really want a Turbo Duo mm. version. You know. That Turbo Duo version, man. I I know like. You can easily just play CDRs on a yeah. uh, Turbo Duo, so that's probably how they get away with even releasing that. But that's awesome. I, I, I remember. I'd like to see them do too. more. That stuff was like really that. cool. Mm. I'm, I'm pretty sure mm. this is the first time they got a, a major publisher like Konami to agree to a physical re-release of a game for a legacy console like that. We yeah. haven't seen that with sub like Nintendo or Sega or Capcom or anyone like that, to my knowledge. Only with Not like from limited run anyway. Capcom have been doing some stuff with. Um... Oh wait, wait! I forgot. Yeah. Um, they're doing the Hello, the cartridge re release of Mega Man: The Wily Wars. So yes. yeah, I guess yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Capcom have been doing some of that. I can't believe I forgot. Oh, they're showing off uh, Mario Party now. I, I actually pre-ordered that. It's, uh, made of uh, the Mega Man games game. And boards from the past of the series. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this this was a board from the original board, Mario Party. Uh, I remember this. Hmm. What were you going to check out, Mario Curry? Curry? Sorry. So, if you were really uh, uh, I'm definitely going to check out Mario Party. Um, what kind of uh, physical edition are you going to do for that? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking down the list of announcements for a limited run they've got, and I'm interested in Axiom Verge 2, Requiem, the Turbo Dura Rondo, Contra, Cuneo Collection. Mm -hmm. Hang on, Action, uh, they're doing Axiom Verge 2? Before Mario I mean, yes. I know, I yep. know the yeah. game is coming out. Yeah, no. on the board yeah. Have you seen the trailers for that yeah. yet, Mario? It's very different from the first I've one. I've seen one trailer, and it looks really good. So. It is a, I'm, yeah, it's very different, mm. but it looks good. I'm, I'm going to post it. Not, I want to get houses. the Zombies Ate My Neighbors oh, and Ghoul Patrol collection from them. <laughs> uh, Murray Curry, I'm going to post the games that have just been announced by Limited Run upcoming for you, so you can have a look. But yeah, there's a lot. Thank you very much. No, it's... Uh, yeah. uh, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to head out. Oh, uh, more food uh, porn. Gonna, oh, okay. No down, worries. But, um, I'll check that out. Thank you very much for that. No worries. Yeah. I'll have to head off before too long as well, but I'll go then. Yeah, I'll probably wrap this stream up soon because this is going to be just like really long gameplay of Mario Party and I, I think I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you guys like, may as well dip out whenever. Oh yeah, yeah, this is, this is a casual thing really. Um, I, I will probably put this up on Lucky Hit though because yeah, it's been pretty good. <laughs> I think it's worth it and we've basically got the whole game here so... Oh. Had done so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. See you later, guys. Uh, bye. That, bye. That shiny, that sh see you later. <laughs> that shiny Donkey Kong is freaking me out. <laughs> the shiny little oh, figures. The they're, 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 yeah, they're, they're way too shiny. There are already pictures on the internet of just like close-ups of his ass. <laughs> just people posted that on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's with, that's Twitter in a nutshell. People got obsessed with Donkey Kong's ass thanks to that "you can only spank it once" oh, meme. <laughs> Great start. Oh dear. Oh, well, the internet. Uh, yeah, the internet. So, yeah. Oh, look at the little, the little, um, what do you call them? The little glitter uh, oh, yeah. things that you put on cakes. Ah, oh, that's so cute. The that's... Yeah. I really like yeah. how they're like, adding <laughs> characters that weren't Are those just JPEGs or strawberries <laughs> and stuff? <laughs> I do, like I, JPEGs. I do love how this adds characters that weren't in the original Mario Party games. Yeah. So, like, Rosalina didn't exist back then, but she's still here i think that's cool yeah. yeah that's cool did you say three or four uh, yeah it seems that river city get all the you know, 64 games know. either i don't educational i think she might have been added in one of the gamecube yeah, games starting off not fair i think it's going great well, uh... oh no <laughs> Ooh, Birdo? Yeah, Birdo. She wasn't playing <laughs> yeah. the Nintendo 64 Mario Party games. Huh. Yeah. She hasn't been... Birdo's been kind of not in any of the spin-offs for a while. <laughs> it's been weird. She wasn't in Mario Kart 8. She wasn't in... Uh, yeah. I think she was in... Some of the other... Uh, I think she was in at least one of the Mario Party games in the GameCube. She might have been yeah, in Mario Yeah, I'm thinking Party more recently. I'm thinking more like this gen. She, but, uh, she might have been in Mario Party 8 on the Wii. You have enough but I don't remember yeah. that one all too well. No. Nah. <laughs> that was the one where you were all stuck in like a car together, wasn't it? That was Mario Party oh, 9. Oh, no. Uh, Mario Party 8 was more like all 
all the ones Where that came I before. That was the last <laughs> one before they stuck everyone in a car. So you'll notice that. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah. The first thing it shows you is a quick uh, explanation. Oh, yeah. yeah this one's coming back bit, to me now. This was Mario Party. Yes, it is. Controls work and everything. Uh, and then once everyone is ready, you can. Oh, yeah, straight up says it in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Just in yeah. case yeah. you forgot. Yes. I had all the ones on the N64, but I didn't play three as much as one or two. But that was probably yeah. that was probably because three came out in 2001, I think, which was the last year. Yeah. Which was the year the GameCube would come out later. No. Mm. Okay. So yeah, it wouldn't be long before I'd stop playing N64 games for a long time. Because then there's the mm -hmm. curtain feature, so as soon as I oh, apparently this uh right monkey ball collection is going to be coming out on basically everything, and nobody can copy. Yep, me. yeah, it is. Yeah, PS4, 5, yeah. Xbox, yeah. everything. PC. Yeah, yeah, it got basically the box art and some screenshots got leaked uh, last night, I think. Mm -hmm. It did, and I, I kind of wish it didn't because I would have been so gobbed that I'd be shouting if I saw that for the first time on this stream. I was already it's, shouting. It's a remake of uh, the best. God damn! I'm gonna say it. They're the best GameCube games. They're my favorite GameCube games, like the first two Monkey Balls. You know, I've and never... none of the Monkey Ball games after it are even held a candle to them. Like not even close. I've, other than the one time I got to play the uh, arcade Monkey Ball game, I never played any of the GameCube games before. This will be my first time experiencing that. Well, you're gonna have a lot of fun and a lot of frustration. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I, yeah. The levels are insane in those games. I do like, remember. It's got some of the most ingenious level designs. I do yeah. remember I really loved the arcade game for what it's worth. I think the arcade game is essentially the, the GameCube, the first game on the GameCube was essentially yeah, like a it was of that game. It was, uh, so it was yeah. sort of a remake of the original. Kind of, yeah. It had better graphics, yeah. yeah. I've played the arcade one once as well with its uh, banana joystick. I only ever played the GBA version. Uh, which was... The GBA one's actually quite I, good. I, I, like, I remember... Yeah. When that game came out, I played a Flash version of Super Monkey Ball mm. on Sega's website. <laughs> yeah, I think it was loosely based on the GBA one. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know, but they did have a they did have a Flash game at the time. I'm hoping it was yeah. uh, I'm hoping it was archived after uh Flash went kaput late last year. I would think someone's probably got it somewhere. A lot of Sega's um, old Flash fun, games were archived rounds, after that. Yeah. And when they uh, did that uh, re like that uh, remake of um, yeah. Banana Blitz, uh, not last year, the other year, um, ah, my first thought was, like nope, this is the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> You're said pulling that. the wrong game. A lot of yeah, I mean. That. Don't get me wrong, Banana Blitz was all right. Oh, yeah. It was it was okay, but it was the beginning of the end of the, any of those games being any good. After that, they just got worse and worse and worse. And it was the same problem that happened with Puzzle Wobble or Buster Move, where they just got easier and easier and easier. The level designs were just straight lines. There were barriers everywhere. There was they basically turned it into a, a, a tiny little baby's game <laughs> and just ruined it. Like the absolute worst one was Super Monkey Ball 3D on the 3DS. That is the easiest game I have ever played. Literally, like if Banana Blitz, you you go through the first world. The first world is absolute breeze. You just walk forward and you sort of win it. It's like a tutorial world. The 3DS game was basically that for the entire game. It was just like one long tutorial. It's like, oh, go forward a bit. Oh, you might have to go left and right a little bit. Oh, you won. And it lasted. It was about an hour long. I remember terrible. the only other Monkey Ball I played was uh, the two Android ones. The first one's not available anymore, but... Oh, uh, yeah, they, they were Monkey okay, Ball but they have the same the issue edition, that... Uh, was available mm. for Sega forever that, after yeah. a while. Th this I thought that one was, was, yeah. I thought that one was really good, but I learned later that its maps were... Uh, its maps came from Bo uh, Banana Blitz and Step and Go, the two Wii games. Oh, that makes so, sense. So maybe, a... maybe those games, maybe those maps are just uh, just play better when you play them by tilting a uh, tablet rather than using a Wii remote or something. Well, I was just about to say that. Do you think these remakes will have gyro? I hope. So. I hope so. I'm, I probably won't use it often, but uh, I think the remake of Banana Blitz did, so... Yeah. At least I, I actually know, did it? 
I don't think it did actually. Did it not? I don't know. I haven't played it. I, I haven't played that. I'm gonna get that remake at some point, but um, only when it's cheap because it's all right. It's fine, but it's 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 not as good as the original GameCube games. Like they're just untouchable. Probably one of Sega's like Super Monkey Ball Two is probably one of the best games Sega ever made. I, I'm putting that out there. <laughs> like. I put so many hours into that bloody game. There was some of the later levels in that game. I was literally drawing maps and planning out where to go, how to do it, because they were so complicated. Like one of the last levels in Monkey Ball Two is just like this massive map of like all these platforms. Half of them are invisible and half of them are not, and they keep changing into a certain pattern of which ones are, which ones disappear and which ones are invisible. And I was sitting there drawing out where all the invisible ones were and trying to figure it all out as a teenager. And, oh, good times. Right. I'm gonna head off now. Um, so right. good stream, everyone. And I think we had. I yeah. think it's safe to say that they've got this E3 in the bag. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Is it is Bandai I, I Namco today or is that tomorrow? I didn't actually know they had one. To I'm be honest, check. like I kind of lost track of most of the stuff they've been doing. Yeah. Been uh, yeah. Most of the E3 we'll stuff. Have a presentation. Uh, I'm gonna double check. Uh, yeah, Tuesday at 10:25 in the UK. So, so yeah. Oh, okay. so half ten today. There's going to be a Bandai one. Half ten. Right. Okay. I don't know if I'll. I'll probably won't stream that one. Oh, I'll watch it. Watch it if I'm going to be bothered. <laughs> I did. See the... I don't know if it's going to be like the Capcom one. It'll probably just be just Elden like, Ring. Oh, I saw the Capcom yeah. one yesterday. That was the most pointless E3 presentation I'd ever seen. It was almost. Yeah. I, actually, I would say Ubisoft beat them. Which is, you know, Ubisoft probably. Well, yeah, Ubisoft wasn't too bad actually. I didn't hate that one. Even if just like, it had the usual Rainbow Six bollocks, but it did have Mario and Rabbit. Yeah. And that uh, I can't remember what it was called, but that um, that like uh, bike riding game looked quite fun. I play that. Mm. Yeah, I forget what it was called. Did they have a trial? Oh, no, no. Is that what? You uh, it wasn't a trials game. It was like a massive multiplayer extreme sports yeah. game. Yeah, I think it was like snowboarding and bike racing and yeah, a bit like paragliding and all that kind of stuff. The rest of it, kind of like steep, yeah. but more of that. <laughs> yeah, and I always wanted to try steep. Remember when they announced Steep for the Switch and then it never came out? Never <laughs> steep, <that>. everyone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that's uh, right. two twenty-five for America. So okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So yeah, no good. Yeah, I'll give that a watch later. Inject advanced yeah, worlds into into my will, veins. Uh, wrap up here. I'm probably going to continue. I'm going to continue to watch this Nintendo Treehouse off stream. I think. Is mm. mm. uh. The thing I find with these tree houses is I feel like they show too much. Yeah. Like I kind of regretted watching them play Mario Odyssey because they kind of showed so much of that game that I was like, oh, you kind of spoiled a chunk of it. Yeah, I, I, as a rule, so, I don't watch them um, because they just too tend to really get into it a bit too much. Um, yeah, I do feel like they get a bit. OTT with them, Sometimes, but, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it on in the background. I want to see the WarioWare game some more because I'm kind of curious how that actually works. I want to see Advanced. It's clearly quite different. That would be that's nice. a really that's good one. I've really like never that. played Advanced Wars either, so I'm looking forward to experiencing that through that remake. Uh, I'm I'm up, I'm up to maybe play them again, waiting up for this release, and then play the remix. Because mm. well, I think one of the things I like yeah. about this is a lot of the announcements are actually not that far away. Yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of Nintendo's thing. They don't like to most of the time. They don't like to announce things years in advance. Yeah. Most of only the, time. the really big, big, big stuff that they do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, are we... Yeah, I think they're quite good for that. And I'm no this longer is making me want to play the original Mario right, Party so games again. All right then, I will see you guys later. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay then. And with that, I think I shall wrap this up for now. Uh, yeah. I'll see if there's anyone to raid. If it's gonna let me, because I'm using the buttons grayed out. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll get that sorted. And, uh, um, yeah, we shall move yeah, on we'll from this. Oh, yeah, I don't know who's on. I'll just mute that stream real quick. Let's have a look. Boop. Right. Uh, yeah, for some reason, all my buttons on Twitch are grayed out. I might have to refresh or something. Mm.
Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's weird. All right, I'll see if there's anyone to raid. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. No, I'm going to raid uh, a Mega Mario because he's playing Fancy Star Online 2. I assume New Genesis, so we'll go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Cool. Hope you cool. Right. So I'll see you guys another time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to post this on Lucky Hit as well. Nice. So if you're watching via Lucky Hit, then uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but also, uh, most of us have Twitch channels. You have, you know, Diggity has a Twitch channel. Murray Curry has a Twitch channel. Hunt Funda has a Twitch channel. Uh, am I forgetting anyone? You? I know Eric <laughs> doesn't have one. Me, I have a Twitch channel, Animated AF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one too. You're probably watching it on there right now. Um, or if you're not, then you can go to that, I guess. <laughs> right, so I will see you guys later on i am i've actually got some days off coming up so i am planning to do some streams i might even try and do a special extra long stream for the sonic anniversary nice. so because i've actually got that day off i think it's the 23rd so yeah i might actually do like something special for that i, I, I want to try and do something so yeah mm -hmm. i'll see you guys later bye, bye. so long <laughs>